We are all packed up and ready to hit the road. It's 3 p.m. We were supposed to leave at, you know, 9 a.m. But it's fine. We're going. Finally. So guys, we have left. We don't know which route we're taking. We just took a left. We've, got, we've gone inland now. We haven't gone the coastal way. We haven't gone the Costa del Sol. It's a bit built up. So we thought we'd get straight into it and head into the mountains. And we're going inland towards Madrid. Yeah, we're on the road. And it's just, yeah, we've decided to come this way. The scenery is so nice. Uh, the roads are a lot quieter, although they are windy and up and down hills. But you know, old Vince can cope with that all right. But yeah, it feels so good to finally be on the road. It's been a bit of a crazy week. Just last minute preparations and then a surprised hospital visit. Um, basically, stupid old me uh, doing some jobs on the van, last minute jobs just in the uh, exhaust pipe on the heater. Managed to get a little shard of metal in my eye. Um, so go off to the hospital and then I had to go and see a specialist to get it removed the following day. So that just delayed us further a couple of days. Like it's all good now, I've got drops, nothing to worry about, it's all sorted. It wasn't too bad. Don't know where we're stopping tonight, we're just going for it, you know. We're gonna have a little look and find somewhere to stay shortly and for now we're just driving through the beautiful Spanish countryside. So yeah we've just pulled off the main road we're heading towards Granada um, and we decided we'd stay our first night in the van and where we've been before a couple of years ago lovely little place called Alhama de Granada. No, it's not the, the big castle thing in the city of Granada. It's a lovely little town. It's got a gorge, um, pretty town, hot springs nearby. So yeah, we're going to spend our first night there. Yes, we are. And tomorrow is Nick's birthday. Yeah. So our first full day back on the road. And yes, it's his birthday. So that's exciting. So. As Nick says, we have been here before a few years ago, quite a few years ago, and we do know it's nice. So we're going to take you there and show you just how nice it is. And we're looking forward to spending the day there tomorrow. And um, yes, so we'll update you. We should be there in um, about, not long. It's getting quite late in the day, but we should still have an hour or two of daylight when we arrive, which is yeah, good. Yeah, we did actually plan to leave first thing this morning it's friday you know we had our delays and we planned to leave first thing but you know we never do really so we left about three been driving for four or five hours it's getting late so yeah let's find a quick park up and go and have a little explore found this lovely little car park on park for night it looks really nice it's huge space for loads of people luckily there's only like four or five people here Stunning views down that way over the countryside and the fields and down to the gorge. I think the gorge is down that way. The little town's up there and it's it's really peaceful, really picturesque, really quiet. The boys have been out already. Charlie's excited to be on the road again, hey? Anyway, yeah, so we just need to sort out the van, I think. Um, got a bag of tool, box of tools here because we need to do a little bit of work we didn't get a chance to do. So I think tonight... Yeah, we've got to put up our new carbon monoxide detector. Silicon. We've got our emergency triangles that need to go in the back, some tape. We've got to still do the heat wrap on the heater and exhaust. So we've got quite a few, I mean, all of these tools, that's for the exhaust for the heater that we need to fasten on properly. So all of these are going to be dispersed in the back of the van. They need to find a home. Yeah, we had, um, we've got quite a lot of food on board as well. So we need to get all this food eaten. So <laughs> instead of having like bear, and we've got some food underneath rather than as well as the food store. 
full so we do need to eat a lot of food we've just put our jumpers on because it's quite cold here we've Ooh. we've rocked up and you can fresh. there is snow on the mountains that you can see of granada the sierra nevada so so yes we're really really excited to be here but we won't be able to show you much until tomorrow because we've only got an hour left of light and we just want to get this van sorted and get some food on the go Right, that's dinner made. Super, super fast, quick, easy spaghetti. And now we're just gonna have a little glass of wine, have our spaghetti, and I think try and get an early night so we get up nice and early for Nick's birthday tomorrow. So, cheers. Cheers. Morning, everyone. It's day one on the road. Well, technically day two, but day one, full day. And it's happy birthday. You get the picture. It's Nick's birthday. Let's turn the camera on to him. Happy yeah. birthday to you. Start the day with a nice rocket fuel coffee. Don't really celebrate birthdays. Not for a few years. Not since yeah, I was right. 21. Yeah, right. But it's the day that everyone has to be nice to you and you get your own way. <laughs> which never happens. What a day to be starting his birthday. First day on, back on the road. First full day. We're going to go out and explore this beautiful town. Um, there's a lovely gorge to see. There's some hot springs. And... And then we'll probably go for some tapas or something later on. Yeah, make the most of being in Spain before we leave and we leave tapas. Yeah. Um, and this morning, it's really cold and we haven't actually got the, the diesel heater we, because we, we were fixing, fixing up another piece of exhaust. We'll show you to sort of take it further away from the van kind of thing. And that's when I got the little shard of metal in my eye. So we haven't actually finished off and we need to heat wrap it so we don't have the heater and then with this morning we woke up and it was really cold we were like oh we need the heater for sure even in spain it's like you know it's about seven or eight degrees and we woke up this morning which is really cold for us yeah we take it for granted where we live it's got to be probably one of the literally one of the hottest parts of europe um yeah and we've just had really mild nights for the last like month and then you come up here near granada slightly elevated and it's a little bit chilly so we're very glad we installed that diesel heater we were thinking oh do we need it we're going up to Scandinavia in the summer i think we will yeah so yeah so this afternoon once we get back from our walks and things um that's what we'll do it should only take us about an hour to get it all set up and then tonight we can have some of that lovely heat so that will be exciting so for now we're going to enjoy our coffees try and find something in this van for breakfast because we, although we have loads of food we don't have any breakfast things but we'll fix something up and then we're going to go and check out this beautiful little town <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> There's no water in there. Here we go. Oh. Calm down. We really got to start bringing a little bowl out because we end up giving the boys all of our water, but that's fine, we don't mind. This walk is absolutely amazing. It feels like it's about 20 odd degrees now, so we've delayed. And yes, it's a beautiful walk through the gorge with views overlooking the town a little bit earlier on, and then it gets more rugged and wild as you continue through the gorge. And what's really cool is all these little cave houses. When we came here a couple of years ago, there were literally just caves with holes in the wall. But now they're proper built up, really nicely done. Like yeah, they've got all new roofs on them and like stonework on the outside, chimneys going into the cave and out the top. It's so cool. So I just presume someone's bought them though. They've mm. all been sold and then they've made them into these what they are now. But I mean, they're awesome. This area 
of Granada, the region of Granada inland, is very famous for these, these uh, cave dwellings. Just because it gets really, really hot in the summer and then obviously cold in the winter and the, in the caves it's, it, you know, the same sort of temperature or moderately the same sort of temperature all yeah. year round. Pretty cool though to live in a little cave, wouldn't it? <laughs> loving being back on the road. I think this is a case of one day into the trip, loads of walks and that'll be it, they'll be chilled out for the rest of it because they're constantly outside. Charlie's just in his element now. Yeah, they both are, they're absolutely loving this. Such a good life for them. Beautiful. After a nice walk through the gorge, worked up a bit of a thirst. So that is the town of Alama de Granada. I think we're gonna go there for a cheeky birthday beer. I mean, it's 10 o'clock, but it's my birthday. Only joking, it's five past. Uh, lunch time, so. You can hear the bells ringing, it's 12 o'clock. Don't count them, don't count them guys, otherwise you'll catch yourself. That is Spanish tap water at its best, but always look out for the signs. Agua potable. If it's no potable, don't drink it. Unless someone's rubbed out the no, of course, and then I'm buggered. Right, that's enough of that. Let's go and get a real drink. This town is so nice. Look at this perch on the edge of this cliff. That's where we've just walked all down there. Look how nice this is. It's just amazing and it feels like we've got the whole place to ourselves again as usual. <laughs> love it. Love, love, love it. Cheers. Cheers. Just come up into this beautiful little town and a nice little table in the shade for a nice refreshing beer. First of the day, first of many. <laughs> mm. Calm down, birthday boy. <laughs> we can't have more than one beer, or maybe two now. We have got to go back to the van, yeah. yeah. We've got some work to do. We've got to edit this video for you guys, and we've got to sort out that exhaust because it's getting chilly in the evening. Yeah, evening. I definitely want the heater working by the end of the day before it gets cold. It's lovely and hot now, but at night and in the mornings, it's freezing. But it is my birthday, so we will be back out to make the most of tapas in the Granada region. Yes. And um, to check out this little town, yes. to explore. Yeah, birthday beers later on. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that like button below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please do and keep the comments coming because we absolutely love to hear from you. And we'll see you in the next video.